Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. I'm doing a whole series on answering questions from YouTube, from Facebook, from Instagram, like all these different uh, social media sources um, that I want to do my best to give you my personal experience. I'm not a doctor, however, I have a lot of information I think that will help you. The question here today was, what is the best diet for singers? Well, before we start any of this conversation, use some common sense, okay? Think about this. If you put in sludge, sludge is gonna come out. If you eat cheeseburgers and pizza and chocolate milkshakes and french fries and all these different things, please don't expect a high performance engine. This isn't just about your voice, this is about your whole body and how your body functions and your voice is part of your body. So just have some common sense here with me guys as we go through this for a second. Now, um, I actually love cheeseburgers and pizza and all, who doesn't, right? But in the end, if we stay with a plant-based diet and we can have our body have maximum nutrients to provide the tools that we need to be great at what we want to do, we're going to win. If we don't, we're going to come up with disease somewhere along the line. So there are two books. They're great. I know I've published this before, but I'm going to publish it again. This one is called Eat to Live by Dr. Joel Furman. Check it out here. This book is Rockstar, and I'm not asking you guys to become vegans. That's even not even what I'm saying. I'm just saying the closer we can stay to a plant-based diet, the healthier we can become. There's another one here called Forks Over Knives. Check this one out. Here it is here. Now this book is this very similar, you know, they have very similar things. And, and, and the reason they're doing this is they're saying, don't eat a bunch of red meat. Don't eat a bunch of cheese doing this. As, because, you know, when we eat cheese and we eat, uh, you know, even, even yogurt, like people think yogurt's really good for you. Well, uh, I mean, um, you, uh, people do that because they think that the probiotic that's in a yogurt uh, is good for them. There's a lot of ways to get a probiotic and you can do it uh, in just fermented vegetables. There's supplements you can take or whatever. If you're looking to minimize, minimize mucus and just get good dietary health for singing, you'll do what I say, but there's a few more things here too. Come on guys, let's be real about this. Get some exercise, go out, go for a walk, go for a run, ride your bike, go for a swim, hike. Do something that, again, gets blood flow through the body to where your body is able to regenerate and rejuvenate itself to be able to support good immune function, okay? A couple more things. I have this couple people that said, you know, when I eat 20 minutes before I sing, uh, I feel like I'm gonna puke or, sorry, um, and I feel like I'm gonna, uh, you know, regurgitate all this food. Well, have some common sense in that too. Eat a whole hour before you sing, or more, hour and a half before you sing. Now, some people get so worked up when they sing and they're so excited, they'll, they'll wait three hours or more. Well, you need energy, you, you need some fuel to sing. Do it an hour and a half before and give yourself enough time so that when you do sing, that you're not regurgitating this. Another thing, don't drink a bunch of alcoholic beverages. Now, everyone likes a good glass of wine or a beer or whatever your you know, cocktail of choice is. I'm not gonna say you can't do that. But what I, what I am gonna say is it dries out the cords. So if you're gonna drink a lot of alcohol, you better be you know, rehydrating your body with a whole lot of water or doing something else that's gonna be able to give you back the resiliency that needs to go in the cord to refeed the cord with moisture. Um, and not only that, but if you do beverages that are carbonated, the carbonation also makes you gurgle and regurgitate and you're gonna go and have all this acid the building up in the stomach. One last thing, and this is really important. I like a good steak, guys. I like a piece of pizza. I'm not saying don't ever do this. What I'm saying is before I go to bed, if I eat a big steak and I can't digest that steak, this is really important because I can build up acid reflux in my stomach that sends acid up into the throat that gnaws away at my vocal cords. So please don't eat big fatty, uh, you know, uh, meat dishes before you go to bed. Do it in the middle of the day, do it in the morning, midday, sometime like that, if, if that's what you need to do. And I get it, because I do that too, and I, and I need meat, and I need carbs and stuff. So again, I'm not vegan, though I subscribe to a plant-based, as much as I can, a plant-based diet. Um, this will really, really help you. Now the last thing is, we have to exercise our body and our voice, and they have to work together for this. So if you're not willing to take the time to do the right things, to eat right and exercise, please don't expect a good result. 
sludge in, sludge out. Okay, say it again. If you're gonna feed your, your machine, your whole body, machine sludge, that's what you're gonna get out of it. If you're willing to take some extra measures and just do the right thing, it will blow your mind at how much your immune function will keep you from getting sick, building up mucus on the cords, give you strength for when you sing, give you energy that you didn't know you had, all these things, this is my recommendation, okay? I hope you guys find this help, helpful, and uh, Ken Taplin Vocal Academy, where the proof's in the singing. Hey,